So I was going to do like a longer format video, but I'm actually pretty disappointed in these. Look how uneven they are. That's really the big issue. And then this is not as significant, but you know, for a $500 boot, the welt's a little bit torn up. And then the, the right boot, kind of where the, this side welt is, it's kind of digging into my side of my foot at the joint. I don't know, I guess I just expected more for a $500. You know, these are priced like a pair of PNW, like Nick's. I don't think the build quality is as good. They're like way lighter, uh, thinner leathers. I, you know, I guess I expected more. Seems like a cool brand. You know, unboxing is a really nice situation. You got like the little, there's a little personalized little letter, little beer cozy, not that I need that or use that. The nice thick boot bags. You know, even the shipping box has their tape and their logo, it's cool. You know, the brand seems like a cool brand, but it seems like some quality control issues that I don't know. I'm surprised they don't look over the boots a little bit closer before they ship them out. I'll show you some photos I took just like with my phone, but like they're really uneven. I tried to line them up the heel and it's like the left boot way from the back matter over time would wear but it's strange and then that neck is a little bit better than that for that cost it's a good boot though otherwise i mean the soles are pretty cool one of them looked better than the other this one they really did a good job on kind of closing up where the stitching is for the sole this one, I think, is the one that's... Yeah, this is the better one. Let's look at that. It's almost completely closed up, the channel. That's pretty impressive. It's also more symmetrical in this one. It's more even around. If you look at the other boot, it's really like they really ground it down almost to nothing on this side. But smell pretty nice. Not as nice as I would say, like the Dublin Nicks and Fibergs are better. It's a better smell. I mean, this is a really weird thing to discuss, but those definitely smell better. And then even the 1964 leather from Nicks has a nicer smell, but these still smell nice. It smells like a leather furniture store or something. It's a good smell. <clears throat> the Rough is pretty decent, it's not as thick. This is like a rough out from a PNW, or even honestly, the these feel thinner than my old uh, Iron Ranger Hawthorne Mule Skinners. But still pretty nice. They're pretty light. I kind of wish they were a little bit of a yellower tan, but the red, I don't know, it's almost like a, I don't know, I gotta get the light in there, you know, let's just pick up the light. I'd almost say it's more of a plum. It's a better color than I thought. They looked like really red like that, which I guess wouldn't have been terrible, but that plum color is a little bit kind of more interesting, I guess, it's darker. Pretty comfortable. This is an 11 and a half D, which is my, what I would say is my Brannock. Uh, my heel, that's my heel to toe Brannock. Heel to ball, I'm closer to 12, but I've always just got 11 and a half D, like dress shoes, so that works. I'm a 12 sneaker, so they had said, you know, go a half down from your sneaker or your typical dress shoe size, so true to size. These 11 FD, I think they're the right size for me. Very snug, which I was talking to a couple folks who have cowboy boots, and you know, I guess that's how it's supposed to be, where they really hold your foot here. Toe room is actually pretty nice. I don't feel that, like the the baby toe smash or the push-in that like uh, I have with some PNWs, the HNW Nick's last really smashes my baby toe. 
And then I think, what is it, the 55 and 11D kind of starts to get tiring at the end of the day, pushing in my big toe, obviously, only wearing them for a few minutes on the carpet. Hard to judge, but it doesn't, I mean, it's snug on my feet, but it doesn't seem like it's too small. And then the heel slip is almost non-existent. Considering there's no lacing, like, it's kind of insane. <clears throat> so I guess that means it's the right size. I'm just a little bit disappointed in, uh, in the quality, I guess, for the money. I guess expected more considering how expensive they are uh, and, you know, being made in Mexico still. Cause I, just, I guess my problem is I can get a made in USA NYX for around the same price, you know, 550 ish Sometimes less. I bought a few of them on sale for less than that. And they're way more substantial, way heavier duty, thicker leathers, better quality construction. And, you know, why would I pay the same or more for these that seem kind of cheaper? But I guess if that's your aesthetic, I don't know. I'm not a, I have not 100%, but I'm like 70% sure I'm going to end up just returning these. Maybe I'll keep an eye on them and see if they offer some other leather they want and give it another chance, but I'm just kind of a little bummed out about the, mostly I think the biggest issue is that the pain here and feeling inside where the side welt is, it seems like it's worse on this boot. So that could be a construction inconsistency issue. The misalignment when you kind of, if you line up the two boots, how, you know, one of the shafts are like such a different position that kind of throws me off. If I'm getting really particular, you know, this toe bug is like perfectly pointed, whereas this one's kind of off center. And then this is not as big, but it's just one more evidence of it that like, they kind of nicked up the, 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 whatever, the top black color underneath the stitching. Maybe you could fill it in with something, but like, I, why, why should I have to repair a boot I just spent 500 bucks on? That's just nonsense. So yeah, I wish this had been a little bit better experience, but you know, I guess that's everybody's situation. It's not always the same, you know, the shill tube wall promoted and they're getting boots for free and it's the greatest thing. And then you buy it yourself and it doesn't always pan out that way. And I'm not completely, you know, crapping on this brand, you know, Chisos seems like a decent company, but I think they should have caught that. I think that was a quality control misstep on their part. Uh, maybe this should have been a seconds type boot. I don't, I don't know. The numbers match up. I see they actually have a number on the box, the lot number, and then inside each shaft. So it's not like a mismatch pair or something. But, and I know, you know, handmade, they're not going to be perfect. But I think it's the combination. If it was just one of those items, you know, if it was just this, probably wouldn't make a big problem. The shafts being kind of misaligned. That alone, okay, maybe, but it's like three different issues. And then kind of just the inconsistency between the two, like the little non-symmetrical stuff. That's kind of a bummer. I'll wear them a little bit more tonight, make a final decision. But uh, cheers. <laughs>